Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for April 18th through to the 24th general reading. Will not resonate with every single Gemini out there. Hopefully it does though. Um, you're more than welcome to check out any other propensity um, sign reading in your chart. Your, all 12 are available to you. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus specific. Any placement of Gemini, you may find messages in the reading. I am presently, currently, for a short time, available for personals. All that information is in the description box. And welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my returners. Okay, two cards out. We're still shuffling for Gemini. Messages for their greatest and highest good. The 18th of April to the 24th. What else do we have for Gemini? Also going to pull the animal oracle for you at the end, as well as a work your light oracle to give you some more guidance. Messages for Gemini. Hmm. Come on. Bungee. Some of you might be feeling confused, a little foggy, because my cards are acting nuts all of a sudden. Little antsy, fidgety, restless, that's the word. That's the word, restless. Or someone in your energy is very restless. Two more cards for Gemini, let's see. Perfect. Okay, bottom of the deck we have the star card, beautiful energy, major arcana. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, could have that in your chart, but um, this is healing energy. This is also wish fulfillment, all right? So definitely some wishes could be coming true, right? That, that energy is in your potential this week for some wishes to come true or to heal a situation. Maybe you're wishing to heal a situation or someone in your proximity, your energy is wanting to heal a situation with you. Definitely is wishing to heal a situation with you. Let's see what's going on. First card out, past position, we have the Sun card, another major arcana, beautiful energy here in the past, Gemini. You were extremely happy with whatever was going on. You were happy, okay? Nothing happier than a baby on a unicorn, okay? This is absolute potential for growth. This is abundance. This is opportunity. Um, I mean, the Sun is like the ultimate thing, you know what I mean? It, it can grow anything. Worse, you have a little bit of water and you're good to go, right? Food all that sort of stuff, sustainability, life, right? Definitely was very happy in the past here. Very happy in the past. Present position, we have the King of Swords. Your energy, absolutely very logical, very cold, very distant. Definitely could have cut out something in your past or recently, you're being very logical. Um, not as happy maybe, but needing to be very logical or you're feeling like you need to be very logical or this is someone that you are definitely dealing with. Not as warm and fuzzy as they once were, right? Very straight to the point, very blunt, um, kind of, you know, cutthroat. Or there's someone that's definitely wanting to have some sort of conversation with you, right? Swords are an energy of communication as well. Future position, more communication, more victory. Ace of, Pen Ace of Swords, okay? So you have one, two, three. Three major arcanas, including the one at the bottom of the deck. So definitely some big shifts and changes here for you this week. Seems like there's some sort of situation that you are going to be very victorious with. Could be because of this conversation, because I have the King of Swords here and the Ace of Swords. So definitely could be a conversation, some sort of communication that you're receiving, maybe within the next week, timeline-wise, but victory nonetheless. This is information that is going to set you straight towards where you need to be, right? Something that you have been overcoming or wanting to overcome. Definitely going to receive the information, the understanding, the clarity definitely the clarity I'm hearing um, in order for you to maybe move forward. Underneath the sun, we have the six of wands, victory, more victory energy, two cards of victory here, but this is in the past position. This is also a very public um, admit admiration sort of card. So you were feeling on top of the world is what I'm hearing, okay? Whatever this was in, the, in your past energy, um, maybe this is what you're wanting to heal. Maybe this is you wanting to heal someone or something. Someone is wanting to heal something with you definitely could be someone that you're not speaking to currently i have the five of pentacles underneath the star card you know someone feels alone lonely left out in the cold this is maybe why they're in this swords energy now absolutely right whatever it was that they're feeling lonely for made them very happy at some point this could be you as well 
put yourself wherever you fit okay whatever was going on in the past here it was bliss it was absolutely you know creme de la creme type of energy here and it looks like that is no longer in existence so definitely the energy has become very cold for either you or the person that you're dealing with but someone is definitely wanting to heal this wishing to heal this okay middle energy current energy underneath the king of swords as i said whoever this king of swords is they're not happy okay they were very happy in the past very warm the sun is very warm and to go from the sun to the king of swords that is quite you know how could you be the king of swords when the sun's out it's just not possible right everyone's happy when the sun's out just like you see that's why the baby's so happy because the sun's out right you have a lot of fun when the sun's out you're, you're just living life but this is what this person wants back reunion energy reconciliation celebration energy right getting together energy they want this happiness back right it was emotionally based on the cups okay it, it fills them up emotionally this is probably this person that was you know in the in the past here very very happy underneath the ace of swords future position we have the six of pentacles so definitely could have been a situation that was unbalanced okay you know what side you're on if you're the king of swords now that's wanting some sort of reconciliation some sort of reunion wanting to heal a situation um you know missing someone definitely um wanting to converse over this if you are the if you're the king of swords then you're definitely you it wasn't balanced you you were you were breadcrumbing this person okay you weren't giving enough someone was giving more than the other okay but with the six of pentacles being in the future position underneath the ace of swords this is what's going to need to be healed or is going to be healed whatever this victory is whatever this conversation is pertaining to it's going to heal the situation and balance the situation back out so if you were over giving this person is seeing very clearly that they need to step up Okay, they need to up their percentage in giving okay energy time and energy because pentacles represents time and energy this person wasn't giving you the time and energy you deserve not even so much you the situation the energy of the situation because i mean why would you if something makes you this happy and you feel this good and on top of the world so kind of thing wouldn't you, isn't that the energy you'd want to be in most of the time that i mean right so whatever happened happened and it put this person in you know, you definitely could have cut this person out as well. But there's a conversation that's wanting to happen here, and it's about definitely balancing. Bringing back the balance, someone wanting to be more generous. And this is a victory, okay, for either you and this person. Let's get you a animal oracle for Gemini. Messages for their greatest and highest good. April 18th through the 24th. One card for Gemini, please. What do we have for Gemini? Armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. Absolutely. If you were the one that had to put this person out in the cold for whatever reason, I'm not really understanding what, what, what went on. Definitely could have been something you invested a lot of time and energy into. Or it could have been that this person was just not giving you the time and energy that their situation deserved. Right? So you set some boundaries. And spirit is telling you congratulations. Absolutely. It was a balanced, just decision because you are going to get victory now because you were self-loving and put your boundaries up, right? You give someone that the sun and the six of some wands feeling, you deserve more than six pentacles, right? That's just my opinion, though. but definitely someone wants to heal that situation. Someone wants to bring healing in. They're feeling quite, quite lonely without your presence these boundaries they're feeling them let's get you a work your light for gemini april oops i'll take this one too many came out okay unbond unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives absolutely see these scales here Whatever situation, it could have been a karmic situation to a karmic lesson for both you and this person. This person was an undergiver and you were an overgiver. However it goes, you know who you are. Put yourself in the shoes, okay? It was unbalanced. And you walked away. You set boundaries. If you were the one that was the overgiver, you've definitely set your boundaries and you're being applauded for that. It was a healthy decision for the situation. And now you're going to receive the justice and victory that you deserve. The Six of Pentacles could also very much well be you right 
getting the recognition that you deserve, getting the admiration you deserve, being put on the pedestal that you deserve to be put on. And by doing this, it releases karmic patterns. You've, you've paid, you know, this, this cycle worth of debts and you're free now. You're free to enter a new cycle. This could go as far back as like family pattern because this is what releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. Right? Just by doing this, you've learned the lesson. This, this was the lesson, literally. Learning to set healthy boundaries. And for this, you will get victory. Justice. Reason to celebrate. Because even though this victory and sun energy is in the past, it's still there, right? It's still able to harness and wish fulfillment. Let's not forget that. All right, Gemini, those are the messages I have for you this week. Hopefully this resonates because, I mean, this is beautiful energy. Um, if it does, thumbs up the video for me and I will see you. <laughs>